All right, welcome to the tutorial. Uh, this is DJ Randy along with my cameraman Joe, and we're going to go through this as simple as possible as we can. We are going to show you um, each of these components individually. We made this as user friendly as possible. We have everything uh, coded with uh, letters, they all correspond so that you know exactly what hookup goes to what component which spot of the mixing board it goes to. I know a lot of times that this can be very intimidating, especially when you look at a mixing board of this size with all these buttons on it. But uh, we're going to make it as easy as we can so that uh, it's not quite as intimidating for you until you get used to using it. So uh, we're going to start right over here on my far right hand side where we have our laptop hooked up. As you can see, our first letter is letter A. Letter A goes right into our earphone jack, and it's an eighth inch. That's the name of this plug right here. It's an eighth inch plug. It has a letter A here and a letter A here. Plugs right into that eighth inch jack. If you follow this cord all the way up to our mixing board, we come right around here, and the other end of our cord has what we call quarter inch plugs. These quarter inch plugs go into this quarter inch jack we have it marked on the board as letter E. It doesn't make any difference which one of these holes you put these, one's gray as one is orange, doesn't really matter, so we can just plug those back in. Once you take a look at this mixing board, you'll see also right below this red dial there is another label that says laptop so that you can just follow this cord and make sure that it goes right into this hole right here. The only thing you have to concern yourself is this single row of dials that starts on top and goes all the way down to the bottom to this blue lever right here where it says laptop volume. All of these buttons and these or these dials only will be used for the control, to control the laptop. Uh, over here to my right are our main volumes for the mixer that's going to control everything we do, whether it be the laptop, the microphones, anything that's going to produce sound. We're going to use these as they slide up. It says L and R mix. These are our master volumes. So you're always going to have to be concerned that the master volumes are turned up to a, a level, and then you can control everything else individually through the buttons that are in that particular line. So if you take a look at this, on the laptop, there's a red button here. It says gain. That's going to give us individual volume in this particular row for the laptop. As you go down, um, these buttons we're not going to be quite as concerned with because these are more designed for um, microphones where we can get into high frequencies and mid frequencies, low frequencies. We're going to get into that in a little while. So these you don't really have to concern yourself with too much. You can pretty much leave them at 12 o'clock or completely turned off. Uh, we'll get into the colors and that in a little bit. So that's going to take care of our laptop. You see where that's plugged into. If we go back over to our computer, we have B. And B, obviously, on the computer is hooked into B right over here on the side of this USB port, as a matter of fact. We follow our cord. We'll go all the way around. And it goes right into this silver box right here. This box, this is a, a, a box called a PC to TV box. And all this really does is it takes uh, the laptops, which now come almost predominantly with, um, with uh, uh, VGA plugs, and they, it, it takes it and converts that signal from VGA to a RCA, which is a, a video plug that goes in right here. I kind of got away from it real sick, uh, for a second, so I'll go back to it. This B goes right into the back of this PC to TV box. It's just your power. You just take it out. It's only one place that it can go, and it just goes right back inside that, that hole right there. And then that takes care of that for you. Again, everything has got the, the right letter. So wherever you see the letter, you make sure you have a corresponding letter uh, with it. So that goes from B into there. And then we have our D right here, which lines up with D, which is our VGA plug, as we were just talking about. The VGA plug then follows right down and into the side of the computer where you see C, which is the other side of the VGA plug, and then C with the laptop itself. So that will... As long as you have that hooked up that way, you'll have a good video signal, which takes us to our uh, a monitor, which we're going to get to in a little bit. This yellow cord here 
which says G, this is a video plug, and this takes our signal and it takes us all the way over to our, into our video screen, which is way over on the left hand side. We're going to get to that in just a few minutes. We'll come back to that. So I want to go back to the mixing board for one second. Um, as you can see, we have our big cables, and these are called uh, uh, XLR plugs and they're run right with our mixer here. There's little buttons, if my cameraman can swing around here, there's a little button on the back side here, and this is how you take these plugs in and out. Here's the button here, and when you want to take the, the plug out, you literally press in the button, and then you lift it straight out. As you can see, there's three plugs here, um, three holes, and these are the female side of our plug, and they go into the male side of the board, which are here. This is the button I was talking about. You just press this to get it in and out. It's a lock so the buttons, the, the plugs can't accidentally fall out and lose connection. Then you lose sound. So we're going to put that right back in and you just push it in until you hear the click. This one does the same thing. Pull it out, take it out. And again, we have these labeled for you as well. They say mixer on them. This one has a letter K and if you look right at the board, there's also a letter K there. And that's just so you know which one goes where. There's a good shot of it. So I can put that back on. The other one that we took out already, that one was labeled J as I'm sure you saw from that shot and then you can follow that. That goes right into a, another component that we have plugged in which is over here in the front of our table and this is our professional DBX uh, drive rack. Now this has already been pre-set up for you, uh, and we can do this for anybody, but for this particular customer that we designed the system for, this has already been preset for him. We have three different settings. If you look at the very front of this, there's going to be a little button over here, and it says preset. So on the preset button, depending on what, what setting we want to use, we have three different ones to pick from. I'm going to press this button. I'll try to do it this way so that you can see as I hold that down you'll see that it's starting to flash over here in the window. See how it's flashing? While that's flashing I let the button go then I take this dial and I turn it. The setting that it's on right now it says karaoke and it says limit. That's the one we're going to ship it in. That's the one we're going to have our customer use uh, as a default setting for his initial show. But if he wanted to switch it to a different setting that we have predetermined for him he would turn the button, the dial to the left the letter 2 comes up and then you can see the word DJ flashing there which is also not loaded. It's just another setting that we have and we can also go to the left again and we click it and it says karaoke. That's just a karaoke setting that has no limitation on it. Just to be safe we're going to go back to the, uh, to the right and we're going to go 2 and then 3 and then that's our karaoke limit. And when you're ready to set this all you do is press this button in again and then it locks it in place. So that's how that setting works. You have those three different settings to choose from. And that's how we operate our DBX. <clears throat> Going back to the mixing board, we have another row here. This one is labeled F and it just has these little RCA plugs with connectors that go right into the board here and this is going to be the audio and I'll put that back in there as you can see we have this labeled for you too it says F and it goes right into the board this just gets us our sound and if we were to follow this it's going to take us all the way over to a completely different unit that we haven't even seen yet but if you see the back of this unit it's got F and it's got H on it obviously the numbers will correspond I'm sorry the letters will correspond and this is our JBK this is our portable karaoke multimedia player. This is a really, really interesting little box. This box right here plays with an SD card as shown in the front here with preloaded music on it. And it's got many, many different um, dialects. It has a lot of different uh, things that you can choose depending on what language you want to use. Um, I have a remote control here, which is part of this JBK system and the JBK remote will then control another unit that we've put together, another custom piece that we have here at Lightyear Music 
something that's special to us and it's unique to us because we invented this, we put this together to make our shows look as professional as possible. What it is is we have a beautiful full color custom 9 inch monitor and it's mounted on this special stand and it's adjustable and it's plugged in we can just squeeze this and we can raise and lower it just as if it was a microphone depending on the the height of the person that wants to sing or however you'd like to hide it or not hide it during your show but it's a really really nice unit you can see the quality of the picture is really really nice and that JBK unit it uh, plays everything through through this uh, menu right here um, on here we go to our, well, I think we go to the title screen so there's a title button right here on there and we hit that as we're facing our unit and then it brings up all the different the different um, languages there's Cantonese Japanese Russian Korean as we scroll through the menu as you can see as we're going through it there's uh, 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 Russian Korean there's all the different things that you can do so once you decide on which one you want to do in this case we'll say let's call it Cant Cantonese we just hit the enter button on our remote control we're going to enter that then we're going to go to our play button and as you play that and then here comes the song that we selected in that particular language so it's a it's a really nice uh... interesting uh... feature and a, a, a great little unit uh... especially for uh, it just appeals to all different kinds of people we also have on the mixing board how we get the volume into this. So we'll take you back over to the mixer as we go over this away. And as you look, as our cameraman comes in, this was that F that we showed you. This is the audio coming from there. It goes straight down in this row to this other blue dial and as you can see it says JBK volume. So that's pretty simple, right? You know where that goes and this is the volume for that. Again, remember you've got to have this turned up but nothing works without the master volume being turned up. So we turn up the master volume, as you can hear that song that I put on a second ago, that's playing now. So and this, this will just get us more and more volume, or less volume. So that's how that's all hooked up. And that'll take us right over into what we're, we've been waiting to get into over here on the far left side, and that's our beautiful microphone setup. Now these are really, really nice microphones. This is a Nady unit. It's a UHF frequency. And we have two uh, cordless handheld Nady microphones. They have an on off switch right at the bottom here. So when you turn this up, you push this forward up here, you'll see the unit as it lights up. And it's going to correspond. These numbers here will correspond with one of these boxes. So this 0080 will go with this 0080. So you know that this microphone is tuned in with this head unit. So we take that microphone and we go back to our board and we turn up, let's find out, we can find out together and see if this is either mic 1 or mic 2 simply by raising the volume on one of the levels. Check, check, check. And we lucked out, it was the first one. It's mic 1 is this top unit right here. As you can hear that I'm talking right here, we can do a lot of different things with these buttons here as we told you before. Don't, don't be intimidated. We've got multiple buttons and we're going to show you what they do right now. We're going to raise this volume a little bit so you can hear me a little better. And uh, the first button right here is just a pan button, meaning that you can go from side to side. You can switch it all the way to the right if you want to go just in the right speaker, or you can turn it all the way to the left and that'll go to the left speaker. We keep it at 12 o'clock because then we're in perfect balance between speakers on the left and the right. The purple button is something that we'll use now because it's a microphone and it says FX and all that stands for is it's for special effects so this controls how much special effects you want to use and as we go across the board you'll see